In his book, The Morality of Freedom, the American philosopher Joseph Rass argues that today in modern liberal societies, happiness can best be understood in terms of the concept of well-being. And human well-being he defines as the wholehearted successful pursuit of valuable autonomous activities. Now, what does he mean by that? Well, let's begin from behind. According to Ras, human well-being needs an active goal-setting element. Pure contemplation or pure vegetation cannot constitute human well-being today. So, can all activities constitute human well-being? No. First of all, they have to be chosen autonomously, that is, by one's own decision. Being happy by counting blades of grass or stealing chewing gum from kids are not valuable activities. Second, the activities also have to be valuable in a moral objective sense. Third, the pursuit of these valuable autonomous activities have to be successful. Well, that's common sense, isn't it? If you always fail and never succeed, you can't be happy according to Rash. Finally, the pursuit has to be wholehearted, meaning you have to embrace it and feel good about it. You might have chosen your valuable autonomous activities, but if you really hate doing what you're doing, you might be very successful and you might even become a millionaire. But happiness will slip through your fingers.